Star Wars Total War is in development. That's according to both DualShockers, Tom Henderson, a prominent and trustworthy leaker and owner of the industry news website Insider Gaming, and sources at Total War Center itself. But that's not all. Apparently, there are three major Total War games in development as we speak. And without further ado, these games are allegedly a World War I Total War, a Warhammer 40k Total War, and indeed in this latest news, a Star Wars Total War. According to DualShockers, we don't know exactly how long this game has been in development for. Tom Henderson reports that he heard of a futuristic Total War game in late 2022, with other secondhand sources also reaching out to him reporting the same, meaning the likelihood of a Star Wars Total War is now very high. Indeed, Total War Center Forums also reports the same, going so far as to state that Star Wars is the studio's big flagship has the potential to attract a huge audience and a long-term DLC pool, but that the game is still far from release, at least compared to Total War 40k, which seems to be in a much more advanced state of development, according to the sources. What's more, if these sources are to be trusted, which I believe they can, Total War Pharaoh will be at the end of its life cycle after the major Bronze Age expansion, with no more planned DLCs, perhaps unless something massive changes, and the game receives an unexpectedly large new audience. Furthermore, as many have suspected already, Three Kingdoms 2 can by all accounts be firmly categorized as cancelled, and the project was apparently terminated two years ago, essentially around only one year after being announced, which sounds kind of insane. But since we haven't heard anything else on 3K2 in a long time, it seems likely. In other words, if we assume that these leaks and sources speak the truth, it seems all the new Total War games will have something in common and essentially be made on the same foundation. They are all based on long-range warfare foundations, all featuring guns and vehicles or artillery as the primary weapons and means of fighting, and perhaps, which I think is likely by the way, might also feature a revamp of the unit system we've seen thus far. It seems reasonable that since both trench warfare, Star Wars warfare as depicted in the films, and 40k warfare is far from just massive armies clashing in a field, that will perhaps no longer keep to the traditional Total War battlefield setup in the same way. It would honestly surprise me if we had regiments of 200 men in a square walking towards each other just to shoot at one another like an Empire or Napoleon for example, mainly because combat in these three new scenarios is so much more advanced. Indeed, the fact that all of these leaks suggest we are getting similar type of games despite taking place in different universes makes me more certain that the rumors are true. If someone has suggested Star Wars, 40k and then suddenly Medieval 3, Medieval 3 would be the odd one out, likely having little to no resemblance to the two other games and demanding completely different priorities. But since they're all based on shooting, with two of them based on very similar fantasy settings, these being essentially fantasy sci-fi where you could ideally just perform a basic skin swap, my instincts tell me that this is the real deal, especially when three outlets with their own sources all say the same thing. In other words, I think this is basically an open and shut case. Basically, the future 5 years of Total War is now laid out for us, even though Creative Assembly themselves have yet to say anything. Even though perhaps they themselves might have leaked this information to create hype and speculation about future projects. Which personally, I'm all for by the way. If I were to say when we can expect these titles, and if the Total War Center information is anything to go by, it seems 40k is the closest project to the finish line having progressed without serious obstacles and originally planned for a 2025 release next year, although plans are always subject to change. Star Wars would likely be next after Warhammer, allegedly currently being far from release, but this could all just mean that we are looking at a late 2026 release date, which honestly seems likely since Creative Assembly does seem to want to release at least one new Total War game every year, be it a new flagship title, a side project, or a remaster. Plus, two and a half years is a long time in game development, so being far from release right now doesn't mean we're waiting five years for it. This leaves World War I, which according to Total War Center again, has faced quote, very serious difficulties. Its director resigned a year ago and its budget has completely derailed. Originally planned for a 2024 release, it got delayed and perhaps indefinitely. Honestly, if true, this news is tragic but for some reason seems grotesquely plausible considering the fact that Creative Assembly's historical titles for the past 5-10 to 10 years have been sorely neglected in favor of the Warhammer franchise, at least from the main studio. 
the fact that the director presumably resigned over a year ago and that its budget derailed, honestly I have no words for this, other than the fact that this would only be understandable if this game is the most revolutionary of them all, with completely new systems, perhaps even featuring naval warfare and other mechanics. In fact, naval warfare is something we can talk about for all of these new games. I mean, what is Star Wars without capital ships and fighters duking it out in space? Determining supremacy of the airspace, or space space, over a planet? In fact, both Star Wars and Warhammer 40k have other games more or less entirely based around their space navies, with Star Wars Empire at War featuring the best Star Wars strategy known to man and Battlefleet Gothic Armada doing the same for Warhammer 40k Space Fleet. Personally, even though there is clearly a difference between moving large objects in a mostly black void and through stormy seas, conceptually, I don't see them as being too different, and gameplay-wise, I wouldn't intuitively categorize them as completely different systems either. Spaceships generally move slowly and deliberately, same as the capital ships of old. And if we do get naval battles in 40k and Star Wars, I don't think it's too far-fetched to think that we'd get naval battles in World War 1 as well, especially because frankly, even their cannon systems and sizes probably wouldn't be too different. In fact, I'd go so far as to speculate that in the best case scenario, which I deem to be relatively likely at around 60%, this could lead to a resurgence and a new golden age of Total War naval warfare, which would be extremely welcome and could even lead to more naval combat based games down the line. I have to be honest though, 10 to 15 years ago, if you told me then that Star Wars was going to be featured in its old Total War game, I would have absolutely jumped for joy to the point of not believing you, even though it definitely was on my own wishlist back in like 2009. But due to the extreme neglect of the historical side of the franchise, it's almost like I feel as though I'd rather have a Medieval 3 or a Rome 3 or Empire 2, rather than another fantasy based game. That being said, assuming that Star Wars is real, which it very much seems to be, seeing one of my favorite franchises featured in one of my favorite franchises is going to be quite unreal, and I am, despite everything, very excited to see how this will actually turn out. The question is going to be how Creative Assembly will represent Star Wars, how the campaign map will feature the galaxy, how land battles will look and feel, if it will be surrounded by a story, if space naval battles will even be a thing, and of course if we will have our hot seat feature back. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, but not really. And of course see which era of Star Wars the game will be set in, and I assume it will feature Jedi and Sith as well, to continue that hero style of gameplay. Personally, since we're talking Total War here, it would be awesome if we had an all-encompassing game, beginning during the Clone Wars to experience this grand scale galactic conflict, only for time and technology to progress and turn it all into an Imperial era conflict. But if not, I truly hope we'll see the Clone Wars featured first and foremost, because god I am so sick of Star Wars refusing to feature it more in its movies, shows and games. All of this news is rather overwhelming, and just imagining a fully fledged Star Wars Total War is actually quite sick. For now though, a reveal is probably going to be a year or two away, and even longer until we see any sort of gameplay footage. Until then, do you think there's truth to these rumors? And if so, how do you feel about a flagship Star Wars Total War title? And how do you feel about the supposed Brocari situation of World War 1 Total War? Or the assumed next game of Warhammer 40k? Will these titles feel similar, or do you think the settings will meaningfully set them apart? And are you more excited for World War 1, at least hoping it's going to be a thing? Or are you more hyped for a Warhammer 40k or a Star Wars title? Or indeed, do you only care about Total War Pharaoh's map expansion? Let me know in the comments, this is massive news after all, and make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!